the 3M brand no polish connector enables fast on-site installation of 250 micron and 900 micron connections, utilizing a one-piece pre-assembled design. The LC connector is available in multi-mode versions, 50 micron, 50 micron laser optimized, and 62.5 micron. For single mode, it is available in LC UPC and LC APC. The 3M brand no polish connector consists of a factory polished ferrule assembly and a mechanical splice installed with a simple tool called the 3M brand no polish connector assembly tool 8835AT. A bell shaped boot is attached to the connector body, minimizing the chance of losing or forgetting to install the boot during the connection. The no polish connector is tested for premises and FTTP applications for indoor and outdoor locations. The main tools needed for the termination are the 3M brand no polish connector assembly tool 8835AT, fiber strippers such as the 3M brand fiber stripper 6365ST, a high quality cleaver equivalent to our 3M brand fiber cleaver 2534, lint free cloths, and 99% reagent grade isopropyl alcohol. Clean all tools thoroughly prior to termination with a lint-free cloth and isopropyl alcohol. Repeat the process after each use. Make certain that the fiber stripper is free of obstructions and debris prior to each use. Warning: To avoid injury, safety glasses should be worn while working with optical fiber. Wash hands frequently when working with fiber. Do not view fiber end if opposite end could possibly be plugged into an active circuit. Carefully follow safety, health, and environmental information on the label or MSDS for isopropyl alcohol. Store, use, and dispose of isopropyl alcohol per your company practice. Take the connector from its package. Remove the fiber holder from the assembly. Position the assembly tool with the actuator button open. Insert the connector into the coupling. Rotate holder so connector is laying on the base the white actuation button located on the connector, facing up. Warning: Avoid direct eye contact. Gel inside the connector may cause minimal eye irritation. Contains phenyl methyl silicone 63148-58-30 and hydrophobic silica 68611-44-9. Avoid eye contact. Wash hands before eating or smoking. Carefully follow safety, health, and environmental information given on the product label or the MSDS sheet for the 3M brand no polish connectors. Emergency phone 1-800-364-3577 or 651-737-6501. These lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Position the fiber holder so that it will be ready to hold the fiber once it has been cleaved. Open all covers and the back clamp on the holder prior to cleaving the fiber. Move the guide funnel on the fiber holder forward until it stops. If using 900 micron fiber, determine if it is semi-tight or tight buffered fiber. To determine if using semi-tight buffered fiber, grip the 900 micron buffer in one hand and score the 900 micron with fiber strippers. If the buffer tube is easily pulled off with fingers, it is semi-tight buffered fiber. Strip approximately 1 inch of 900 micron buffer or 250 micron coating to expose the glass. For using semi-tight buffered fiber, utilize the fiber holder in the stripping process by placing the fiber into the holder with the fiber to be stripped protruding from the rear of the holder, opposite the guide funnel. Close the rear clamp and proceed to strip the fiber. This will prohibit the buffer from stretching during the stripping process. Once the fiber has been stripped, remove the fiber from the holder. Clean the bare fiber with a lint-free cloth and isopropyl alcohol. Cleave the fiber to 8 millimeters. Use the markings located on the assembly base to verify the cleave length. 
Lay the fiber in the proper groove of the fiber holder, making sure that the natural bow in the fiber is facing down, extending beyond the guide funnel end. For 250 micron fiber and 900 micron tight buffer fiber, place in the fiber holder tool groove, which is labeled tight buffer. For semi-tight buffer fiber, the fiber should be placed in the groove labeled semi-tight buffer. This will ensure the correct amount of clamping force for each type of fiber. Close the guide funnel and middle covers on the fiber holder. Verify that the funnel is still pushed all the way forward. Gently grip the fiber and pull back until the fiber end is flush with the end of the funnel. Close the back clamp on the fiber holder. Check for proper cleave length by ensuring the coating edge is within the hole in the funnel. If not, strip, clean, and cleave again. The fiber is now ready to be inserted into the connector. Lay the fiber holder in the assembly tool base as shown, and very slowly slide the fiber holder toward the connector. A small bow in the fiber will start when the front of the middle clamp reaches the bow start mark on the assembly base. The funnel cover will open. If a bow is not seen, slide the fiber holder back and restrip, clean, and cleave the fiber, and begin the termination process again. If a bow is seen before the front of the middle cover reaches the bow start mark, slowly move the fiber holder back without removing the fiber completely with the connector until there is no bow. Then slowly reinsert the fiber into the connector. If a bow still starts before the bow start mark, restrip, clean, and cleave the fiber and start the termination process again. When the fiber holder is fully inserted into the connector and stops, verify the bow once again. The fiber will bow and open the rear clamp if using rigid fibers, but can remain closed for flexible fibers. There should be no gap between the fiber holder and base when the fiber is fully inserted. The funnel will stop on the fiber holder when the ears contact the release lever. Close the actuator button on the assembly tool base and firmly press to actuate the splice. An audible click may be heard when properly actuated. It is optional to remove the LC connector and test it at this time. If the connector performance does not meet expectations, the splice cap can be popped, fiber removed, and the fiber re-stripped, cleaned, and cleaved again for another try. Squeeze the release lever on the side of the tool base and push the ears of the fiber holder forward to actuate the buffer clamp. Lift the remaining fiber covers and clamp on the fiber holder to release the fiber. Slide the fiber holder from the assembly tool base. Pull the connector from the coupling to complete the termination process.